Hello again, folks. Another NixOS video. This one's going to be a little obscure. Um, I recently had the opportunity to override, well, attempt to override a, a package in the Nix Packages repository, but unlike most other, most other Nix packages in the Nix Packages repository, <laughs> um, these were not at the top level of the repository. So usually if you want to, you know, change something about some package, you want to give it a, a version bump or something, you can just sort of, you know, what I, what I tend to do is add an overlay onto the things and just change its attributes, which is pretty easy, not, not so hard. But when those packages are actually themselves inside another attribute set, so the, the example I'm going to give is that um, inside of, uh, let's see here, this is the top level of Nix packages here, and also OBS. So I wanted to override a package that's inside of this OBS Studio plugins, this attribute set. This is an attribute set because it it goes through this process of calling recurse into adders, and then it calls a package, and then whatever, it's just whatever it does this thing and it and it makes an attribute set out of the the set of packages packages that are inside of this plugins folder which is over here and this plugins folder has a default.nx in it that has all these things in it so basically what this does is it creates an attribute set that is um that is composed of where the where the names are you know advanced scene switcher droid cam obs input overlay looking glass obs etc cetera, etc cetera. and the values of those things are um derivations each one of these things where it calls call package droid cam obs call package blah blah blah, blah all, those, all those things they all use you know standard and make their der derivation retard der derivation etc whatever so in at the end of the day um the way that you refer to to those things is something like I'm just going to type it in here for now. Uh, you know, OBS Studio plugins, uh, and the one that I was wanting to mess around with was OBS background removal removal. So that's that's the full path of the of the thing I'm trying to change, and because it's not not top level, it's not quite as easy to change as. As the other ones, it might seem very basic to people who are very used to NixOS, but it is not to people who are not. And the NixOS wiki, if you go there, describes a, a way to, you know, you know, I, I sort of had to figure out that this thing was was inside an attribute set. Fine, whatever. So you go to the wiki and it says overriding patch, package inside an attribute set. Fantastic. That's what I want to do. And it comes up with this solution here which does not work <clears throat> because what what they're actually trying to say in this wiki here is is that in order to override a package inside an attribute set that has been blessed by something like uh lib dot make extensible um if, if that if the attribute set you're trying to override <laughs> has been blessed by this library function Called lib that makes sense. Well, now I might be wrong about this, and you, you, you old timers, you, you let me know. Um, if if this attribute set that I'm trying to override has been blessed by this, this will work. This dot extend thing will work here, and you give it a another function that takes two arguments and overrides whatever's and happens to be inside of that attribute set. Uh, this my my obs studio plugins dot my obs studio plugins attribute set happens not to have been blessed by such a thing and there's some debate about whether no i i really thank the people on on matrix here who tried to help me out um you know i'm so i'm trying to bump an obs plugin version be an overlay told them about this stuff and you know the, the error that you get when you try to do this to a to a non-blessed attribute set is you know OBS background OBS Studio plugins 
doesn't have an attribute named extend. And so Rafi here says OBS Studio plugins play on attributes doesn't have extend, etc. So I'd do that, which which it, which turned out to be the right answer. But so I said I asked him I, what kind of attribute sets do have extend, and then some flailing here. And those that have been defined with new scope, e.g. Python three packages. Okay, I'm not I'm not even close to being there yet, but. But, but I did know about scopes, so I said, okay, so scopes, not attribute sets, have extends. K900 says, scopes are attribute set just with extra steps. Okay. I say, gotcha, didn't have him, just just lying. Um, Hernas comes along and says, extenders from live makes sensible, scopes have over scopes. So I'm not sure if he's agreeing with K900 or disagreeing. So I don't know whether the thing that that blesses the, these attribute sets is living extensible and that gives them override scope whether they're called scopes over, over that I don't know okay I don't know but in any case um, if you if you want to override packages that are in a plain old attribute set you cannot use the thing that's in the wiki you have to use something like this which is a combination of this this merge operator here, this, this slash slash, and override adders of the actual background removal thing. And so if I take this, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it into my configuration. Now I have a flakes config, which is um, maybe not what you have, but I'm going to, I'm going to put it in, well, actually I'm going to put in my flake.next for now because reasons um and i'm gonna say overlay obs something like that equal that thing <coughs> and it's gonna take a final and a preview like any any other overlay sort of thing and i think i think it might even yeah and then i'm going to uh, pass it in obs Overlay OBS, like that. And what it should do at that point is I should, the, the version of OBS background removal that's in 2205 at the moment is 0 0.5.16. So I should see, see 0 0.5.17 being tried to, tried to be compiled anyway. So if I, if I now do a NixOS rebuild, I have this, this, alias here which which does make source rebuild for me let's see what happens <clears throat> what okay you can tell I'm 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 a little annoyed um right so it is trying to build that thing it has the wrong hash <clears throat> okay so i'm going to get this hash i'm going to put it in there like so copy and i am going to rerun it we'll see what happens now i know i happen to know this isn't going to work because the um the plugin that I wanted to get an, a version bump on has further requirements, build requirements than the old version. But at least we should see it fail, and we know that it's trying to build the right thing. There we go. Okay, so this is this is the failure here, which which is, you know, I'm I'm uh, if I could if I could now feed this background removal plugin the right the right build inputs, it would it would work. I'm, I'm not there yet, but but at least we've solved the problem of it of it uh, building. So anyway, uh, where was I? Right, I was over here. So that's what you got to do instead of what the wiki says. 
uh, you need to you need to use this combination of the, the this merge operator here, you know, with your prev and whatever. You can stare at it all you want. Leave a comment if you want to ask about it. Um, I will say that this is uh, really super painful uh, for people who don't know what they're doing, like me. Uh, the idea that it's that it is um i mean it, it, it in in hindsight it looks obvious you know yeah of course <laughs> of course <laughs> it's not a course at all it's not a course at all uh this took about five hours to figure out so i mean and i'm i i, I you know i am not the smartest man but um I should probably go change the wiki. I suppose that's. I suppose that's what I should do. I suppose that's what I should do. But I'm not quite sure what to say. This seems needlessly complex. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.